My mom's favorite song is You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when sky is gray You never know, dear, how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away My mom was diagnosed with dementia But whenever we sang that song She will clap her hands Her body will move And she's alive I grew up in Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm the youngest in the family and I have a very strong bonding with my mom. When my mom was diagnosed with dementia, my dad called me. I was pursuing my PhD in Australia and I had to choose between pursuing a PhD or my mom. I went back home. I became a full-time caregiver. I felt so lucky to have the opportunity to take care of her before she passed away. I think it was an early grieving without knowing that that's grieving. The misconception is dementia is a normal part of aging. It is not a normal part of aging at all. Dementia is a neurodegenerative disease affecting memory, executive decision, and other brain function. There is no cure yet. So we need to focus on providing high quality care. When I've decided to take up the role as a caregiver in my family together with my dad, it's a full-time job that's affecting not only the person with dementia, but also the entire family. Burnout is one of the highest uh, problem on caregivers, which led me to establish Alzheimer's Indonesia. Alzheimer's Indonesia aims to improve quality life of people with dementia and family caregivers. The focus is on living positively, not focusing on what they cannot do, but focusing on what they can do. Involve them, ask them to participate, be a part of a community. I'd like to see a dementia-friendly and aging-friendly society. I think people in general might think that being old is frail, weak, isolated, lonely, but at the end of the day, it's just a mindset. I don't think of growing old. I think of evolving. I think of contributing. And I thank my mom for giving me this opportunity through her disease to help other families so they can navigate their journey of caring. My name is D.Y. Suharia, and this is my brief but spectacular take on memory loss and healthy aging.